and today is Talk Like a Pirate Day. Arr. Arr. <laughs> so we're gonna celebrate all things pirate. I gotta know. When can we do this again? All right. Well, like we said, today is National Talk Like a Pirate Day. Arr. So thanks to Lena for Hall Family Adventures for putting together the idea of doing a Pirate Day collab. So we thought it'd be super fun to do some kind of preschool inspired, like early learner inspired pirate activities. So to kick things off, we gotta figure out what our pirate name is. Okay, so Wally, let's find out what your pirate name is, okay? Wally, what month were you born in? Were you born in August? Yep. So you are surly? Surly. And what's your favorite color, Wally? So you're surly, red. And then the first letter of your last name, you are surly, red, rat. You surly red rat. <laughs> Let's see what daddy is. Let's see what daddy is. What's daddy? Daddy was born in July, so he's big. Big? What's your favorite color? Blue. Is it blue? Blue. Yeah. Big blue. You're big blue rat. Big blue rat are. You surly red rat and you big blue rat. You want to see what mommy's name is? Okay, mommy's name is one-eyed, green, scurvy. It's kind of a weird one. That is one-eyed, <laughs> green, scurvy. One-eyed, green, scurvy. Mom, you one-eyed, green, joy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, now that we've got our pirate names, it's time to learn how to talk like a pirate. Yeah. All right, Wally. Here's your pirate vocabulary. Hello. What do you say when you want to say hello to somebody and you want to talk like a pirate? Yeah. You say, ahoy. Ahoy. Say, ahoy. Ahoy. <laughs> and what does R mean? Oh. What do you think that means? I don't know. It means, yes, that's great. I agree. Here's one more pirate term. How about we look at landlubber? Landlubber. Wally, are you a landlubber? Yeah. No. So do you like the ocean more than the land? Okay, if you like the land, you are a person who likes being on land versus being out in the ocean, you're a land lover. But you're no land lover, are you? No. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Okay, we have one more preschool activity for pirates. So we've got our pirate. We're gonna find the letter P. earned your pirate status. So now it's time for some pirate snacks. We've got some pirate booty and it's the Halloween edition. Ooh, so we've got some spooky fangs and monster teeth and ghosts and some cannonballs. You want some cannonballs and pirate's booty? You don't want pirates, but okay, try a cannonball. Mommy says, Whoa! 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 All right, well, 
Next up. Boom in the hole. We wanted to read a pirate story. Boom, boom, boom. So while we're enjoying our snack, we're gonna read How I Became a Pirate by Melinda Long boom, boom. and David Shannon. Boom. How I Became a Pirate. Pirates have green teeth when they have any teeth at all. Ahoy thar, matey! Be this the Spanish main? No, I said, this is North Beach. Shiver me timbers, the pirate said. We must have taken a wrong turn at Bora Bora. When I couldn't stay awake any longer, I asked Braidbeard to tuck me in and read me a story. Tuck you in, he bellowed. Pirates don't tuck. No tucking, the crew cried. And the only thing they had to read was a map. Don't you have any books, I asked. Braidbeard looked confused. Books? Didn't even bother to ask about a goodnight kiss. Just then, flash, crash, crack! Lightning hit the mast and split it right down the middle. What do we do now, yelled one of the pirates. We'll have to turn back, called another. But the treasure, hollered, hollered Braidbeard. Where will we bury the treasure? You make a fine pirate, Jeremy Jacob. Guard that treasure well. We'll be back to get it soon enough. Soon enough, the crew repeated. And if you ever need us, Braidbeard added, just run the Jolly Roger up yonder pole. Up yonder pole, the others shouted. And maybe I will, but not today. I have soccer practice. All right, well, speaking of buried treasure, there's an essential ingredient you need for buried treasure. What do you think it is, Wally? Treasure. 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 So you need treasure, and then you need a treasure map, right? So we're gonna make our own treasure map. So I have a cup of coffee, brush and a nice big scrap of paper. So Wally's gonna paint it with coffee and then when it dries we can draw our map on it. What do you think? What? You, wanna you, paint? you want to talk with You want to paint it with the coffee? Yeah. Okay. Paint it all in so it turns into a cool pirate map. All right, well, here's our painted treasure map. We're gonna actually stick it in the oven at 270 degrees for about 10 minutes so it can dry out and kind of get all like wrinkly and bake in that coffee color. All right, well, while our treasure map bakes, we're gonna do one more pirate-inspired activity and we are going to make a little pirate sensory water bead play set. So while I got this for his birthday, it's the super fun little water beads ocean set. So we're gonna put some water beads in there. We're gonna use his kinetic sand to make the shoreline. And then we have a whole thing full of pirates, thanks to my nephew who was obsessed with pirates when he was little. So we have all these super fun pirate figurines we're gonna make a fun little pirate sensory play All right, so we're gonna put our sand in first. Yeah! We're gonna use the kinetic So this set actually came with this really nice um, little like miniature swimming pool, I guess. So we're gonna put our kinetic sand over on this side. Okay. This is to fill the lid. Pour those in there. And then to fill it up with water. And it does say it'll take a day for these to get to their full size. Look at all these cool pirates that Marcus had. It's even got authentic Captain Jack Pirate, so cool. And Barbosa, right? Yeah. Those are all so cool. Oh, and he's even got Davy Jones. So cool. And he's got a bunch of the like skeleton pirates. So cool. Look at this pirate. He's getting ready to dig up some treasure. All right, well, 
Well, here's our treasure map after 10 minutes at a 270 degree oven, and it's kind of perfect. Darn. But I think it needs some burnt edges. So Wally and Daddy oh boy. are gonna play with fire. Now we're going to create our treasure map. So why don't you put an X where the treasure is going to be buried? Why don't you put an X where the treasure is going to be buried? Whoa, that's a big X. Oh, I'm not doing it. I'm going to read them where the X is oh. going to be. Okay, well, where's the, then you got to put the X marks the spot. Okay, and then Wally, why don't you draw what's by the, by the treasure? So use some of your crayons. You know where you want to bury it, so give some clues. It don't be in the dark. Okay. With the top. Okay, then can you draw some other clues around the map? Other things that they might see on their way to the treasure? They might have to go get way. Okay. I know I know something else they might see. Uh wheelchair? Where do you think that is? Poop. <laughs> poop. Is that biggie poop? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't step in the biggie poop. That's where we're gonna bury okay. our treasure and look. At this treasure, Whoa. jewels and pirate coins. That's some good treasure. All right, well, I think this was the perfect way to celebrate Talk Like a Pirate Day. Yar! <laughs> so we'd love to know down in the comments what you're doing to celebrate Talk Like a Pirate Day. And thanks to Lena for hosting this super fun collab. Make sure you check out everybody else's channels participating. <laughs> link down below. I'll also link some of the different like resources that we use or the book that we read so you can check that out as well. Yeah, your sensory beads. Those are so cool. They're getting really big and really fun. This is super fun. If you have a preschooler, definitely recommend the little sensory pirate island activity because he's just been playing with this like obsessively for the last hour. So. <laughs> but these were all super simple, really easy to do, really didn't need a whole lot of supplies or anything too special. I to the so model. I think this was a win. Super fun way to celebrate Talk Like a Pirate Day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Leave us a comment down below. Make sure you're subscribed for lots more fun content coming up because tomorrow's a national holiday too and we have something super fun planned for that. Stay tuned. This is the wonderful world of Walter. Walter. And we love you just the way you are. are.